Welcome to the Beard Me That Beard podcast. I'm David. I'm Sam. And welcome to episode number 26, the second in our Bruise Brothers review series. Yeah, the Brewy Boys reviewing the Bruise Brothers. The Brew Buds reviewing the Bruise Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> There's something there. Uh, there. Yeah. I think it's actually one thing I don't like. I don't like the title just because it's hard for me. It's a little hard to say. What do you? What do you? What do you got there? Nothing. Continue. <laughs> some ships. Some ships. Do you have some some ships? Some some Lay's classic you know, ships. Yes, ships. <laughs> um. So yeah, we'll get into the episode three and four. We're doing two episodes again today uh, before that the beer and i guess sam's beer is in the form of chips i mean like that would be pretty cool but i didn't go <laughs> shopping again so i mean like don't don't rely on me for like updated stuff i'm just i'm just still uh pounding through some older stuff so another uh another one of the sierra nevada the torpedo again Always a good beer to drink. Yeah. I stepped outside of my boundaries for this beer. I got a beer that I don't think I'm going to like. But oh, really? I want I want to expand a little bit. Well That's cool. <laughs> so from and I was surprised to see this in the store. Um from Artifacts up in San Clemente. Um, this is their unicorn juice, American wheat with passion fruit, sixteen ounces of goodness. Unicorn juice. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I care for that up front. That sounds that's a weird. You're painting a weird visual for me right now. So, just like a lot of like, well, I guess. I mean, but yeah, you know, na- I say. names are names. Reminding me of the episodes we're talking about today. Lots of fluids again. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So yeah, Artifacts in San Clemente, California, up the road from us, closer than L.A. This is 5.5%, and it's got grain. It tells you grains and hops and yeast. Pilsner, white, and flake wheat for grains. The hops are Cascade, and the yeast is Cal-L. Like Superman? Well, it, yeah, it sounds. It's actually said like that, but it's C A L space A L E. Oh, A L E, Cal like ale. All right, Cal-ale. let's see how this tastes. Cal-ale. Cal-ale. Smells like a wheat beer. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he's got it. Tastes like a wheat beer. It's um very refreshing. Uh, very good on a hot day, like if you're outside or like today. Some, yeah, well, like this past couple days, <laughs> we <laughs> it's been hot as balls, mm. um, but super good. This um reminds me of the Twenty First Amendment Brewery. I think they have a watermelon wheat beer that is just very delicious, almost non bitter, really good on a hot day, and that's exactly what this beer is. A watermelon wheat beer. Doesn't really taste like watermelon. Tastes like wheat, but this one doesn't. It has the a little bit of tart, and it tastes like a fruit. I just don't think it tastes like a passion fruit. But it's still a very good beer, and I think I can drink a lot of these. And I have a four pack. But here's the cool part: it's a it's cardboard and not plastic. Oh, really? Yeah. So interesting. Thank you for that. That's cool. Doing your doing your job and not destroying the planet. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to see any more turtles getting hung up or anything like that. I don't, dude. Some of that shit is like watching those videos of people rescuing turtles or seals, and then you see a turtle with its fin that has overgrown the piece of plastic on the can, and it's just like it's so like it looks like what when you twist a balloon. It's really bad. Yeah, it looks. Uh, it bums me out seeing that stuff. So yeah, nope. it really does. I and well, I've seen more and more breweries do this. Some are doing the biodegradable one. Cardboard is fine. Just get away from the plastic stuff. You know, stuff that hangs around. 
Yeah, so, plastic, biodegradable. Yeah, biodegradable should be our ultimate goal for everything. I mean, everything. People are so. Oh uh, yeah, people are. Duh. Yeah. Okay, are you ready to get into episode three of Bruce Brothers? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you look so uh, ready for this with your beautiful hat. That's not a hat. Your beanie. It, it's not even a beanie. It's like, a like well, let me let me turn it around. Like, you see my what? hair? <laughs> Wait, what? How is it on your head? Don't worry about it. Let's get into the show. Is it underneath that jet raggedy hair? Jet raggedy hair? Yeah, like jet black raggedy hair. I don't have ha- black hair. Yeah, you do. It's okay. brown, brown and red. Irish, like your beard. You shave too? No, I trimmed. Yeah. It's just some five o'clock shadow now. So. It still looks good though. Thank you just you. gotta shape it up a little bit. But I'm yeah. trying to go for like like sexy '90s boy band pirate right now. So sexy. I think I'm nailing it. You gotta I, like a little <laughs> we, bit, we a little bit loose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the Muppet Pirate movie. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Who do I remind you of from that movie? <laughs> All the really terrible pirates that are like really bad pirates, but just kind of don't know what they're doing too. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say like like a Tim Curry or something. Tim Curry's character is awesome. Mm. <laughs> okay, episode three of the Bruise Brothers. It is called Taste of Van Nuys. <sighs> this was a doozy. It's directed by Natalia Anderson, written by Hunter Covington and Stacy Traub. Created by Greg Schaefer. What would you think of this episode in a general point? Uh, so, I think... Um, so, episode three, I feel like it's kind of, like, coming into its own a little bit. Like, I think going forward, there's it's like the show's kind of, like, settled into what I think it's going to be for the rest... For the majority of the rest of it. I don't know. It feels like this is the tone that they're, like, aiming for. It's kind of manic. Like slapstick, funny... <laughs> Kind of yeah, well, informative about it's craft kinda, beer. It's like like they'll they they'll give you like tidbits here and there, but then there's like you're bouncing back and forth between like you know these super like just caricature like they're like caricatures of people the the, the people in the show. Well, what the fuck am I saying right now? Um, <laughs> I, don't have, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I'm like tangent. Um. But yeah, and then like the, I don't know, it's uh, informative, but kind of like, like I I was saying manic. It's kind of all over the place. Yeah, it is all over the place. Um, so yeah, let's just go to the summary points. Uh, they uh, start off at Angel City Brewing, which is a very large brewing brewery company in LA. Um, cheesy little montage of people having a good time (laughs) Mm -hmm. um and i'm not gonna say this that that people do have good times at breweries but i wouldn't say that they go all out like how (laughs) this brewery is shown (laughs) um but yeah they have like people chugging beer and i'm i'm 100 percent any bar and brewery that wouldn't really allow that bless you thank you they wouldn't really allow that just because um, you want to make sure people have a good time but not get belligerent. I mean, but it looked I do more like, like a... F- it looked like a frat party. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it looked like a frat party more than a brewery, so... Yeah. Uh. And, and then there's a lady breastfeeding <laughs> while, while drinking? drinking a beer. And I actually had to look this up. Mm-hmm. And it says, now, it's not wrong to drink beer when you are breastfeeding, but you have to wait like two hours. So that I mean, way, the where, the milk doesn't get the alcohol. Where where did you read that? On uh, I just googled it. I, I wanted to see if that was okay. I mean, like I de- like regardless of what anything on the internet would say, I would not. I would yeah. not recommend you do that. Yeah, <laughs> it may be yeah. safe, but I mean that doesn't sound like it would be. To I don't me, think so. it's. And the question was, I questioned it, and is, is it okay to do it, period? And it said, it's okay, but you have to wait two hours. This lady was drinking a beer and doing it at the same time. I don't it, think that was is healthy. Like, in my brain, that'd be that's the same as, like, smoking when you're pregnant. I'm yeah. like, you, that's just something you should be doing. <laughs> now, breastfeeding, go ahead and do it. Yeah, I don't really care. In public, you can do whatever you want. 
feed that baby. That baby's hungry. Um, but the beer part was weird. Um, they I also, mean, yeah. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say. I mean, like, I mean, like, do what you want. It's your life. But I mean, like, that just to me that that sticks out is probably something you should. Yeah, because then the baby do. gets it. Uh, yeah. Then they talk about Untap. There's it's an app for checking into breweries and rating beer. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Will makes such a big deal that they're in Van Nuys that it's the most baller location. <laughs> well, he, then, <laughs> he was making some points kind of like I did last week where he's like, yeah, there's no market out there. So we're like the trendsetters. Yeah. But, but, and, and my wife is from LA near Van Nuys. And they said in the show, it's car dealerships, pawn shops, porno stores, and full release massage parlors. <laughs> and then I asked her and she's like, yes, that is correct. And the worst part is all those are like in, just mini strip malls. So you'll find all of those multiple locations. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, they definitely know <laughs> know their locations. So. Yeah. Uh, and I think it, anyone from Van Nuys would be like, yeah, that's 100% correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, Adam is not having a good time because he's all about not having a good time people just, laughing playing games it's very bad very bad <laughs> yeah he's just really owning his beer snob persona where he's just like no it's about the art of, yeah. the, of the beer it's not it's not about you know having fun and he brought Ugh. his own beer to the brewery so which just, is a yeah. huge no-no you don't do that <laughs> that is an open container now <laughs> yeah that's um <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't sit, that doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> yeah, and it was cool because Will's like, "Oh, this avocado ale, it's the shit. It goes down like water." And then he's Adam, like, "That's because it is water, <laughs> and it goes down like shit." <laughs> there, now I got yeah. I was like, there were definitely some good lines in this one. Yeah, a lot yeah. of very good one one hitters. Um, mm-hmm. Avocado ale sounds awesome to me, um, but I don't know if it would be the how it would be a. Like get the taste of a ripe avocado ale because avocados are ripe for about ten minutes, <laughs> or they're mm. underripe and then overripe. Mm-hmm. Um, but it sounds delicious. Um, yeah, but then they notice that the they get a lot of people from a uh, brewery tour company called La Beer Hop, and um, mm-hmm. Adam is against it, but everyone else is for it because <laughs> they need uh, they need money, they need the business. Yeah, the founders are drinking them dry, and we yeah. need actual <laughs> money fa- coming in. <laughs> them founders and Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> Chewy. And, yeah. Oh, man. He's he's that, becoming one of my favorite characters in here. He's just he's so, so stupid. There. Yeah. He had that little bit about eating ass and training <laughs> animals to eat his ass. <laughs> yeah. Which, which one like, did he say he got? It was like he trained a... Uh, was he, like a he's like... Did he say like he a, talks about, oh, dogs, you, you can train a dog to lick their your, their own balls. You, you can train a dog to to lick its own ass. You can train a dog to eat your ass. <laughs> and Sarah's like, "Why would you train an animal to eat your ass?" I've trained an iguana. Will was like, "For what? To <laughs> yeah. eat my ass." <laughs> I like, I like, I like how there was like a beat where it was just like silence, and then he goes, "Yeah, so yeah to eat my ass." It was funny. Oh, and then homeless man <laughs> is back when they're on their way to. <laughs> Back to was the brewery. He? Yeah. He, I, oh he, no, no, he, he pops yeah, out of right. the dumpster and gives him Real back quick. his shoes. Oh, Re- like like ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, it was um, like a blink and you miss it. I almost forgot yeah. about that. Um <clears throat> So yeah, the, Sarah is working really hard and honestly she's probably the hardest worker and cares more about the brewery than anyone else. Um because she really wants it to succeed. So she goes about <laughs> trying to convince the bus driver to come check out the brewery. Mm-hmm. Um so that they can make a stop to Rodman's and sell beer. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a bit where Sarah's and Chewy are kind of arguing about who's what jobs are what. So Sarah oh, makes yeah. a workflow chart. Yeah, um, the- and and I've never really seen a workflow chart like this where you start with a curve. <laughs> this was that honestly that was that was that was a pretty good bit. <laughs> I thought I, I was like, okay, that I like that joke. So <laughs> they, she starts making this chart with Adam and Will at the top, but it's like a curve, and then she connects them, so it looks like the top of uh, of a penis. And then the the guys are like, notice they, it, and they start making her do 
penis things to it. So she draws the balls. She rubs it on the side. Well, basically, they don't they don't tell her what she's doing, but they're like kind of like giving her direction. They're like, oh, well, why don't we have like two like a Venn diagram at the bottom, kind of connecting the like, yeah. Why don't you like why don't you erase some of the stuff on the sides and like use both she, your hands? You know, you yeah, can, you can finish quicker. And then she's like, she's, like, oh God, Will, you're all you're full of good yeah. ideas today. She's like, she's like, wow, I didn't think this would take off with you guys. And she's like. She's being like so innocent, not really yeah. what she's doing. And then when they finish, she like takes a step back. She's like, "You guys just have me draw a dick." <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> My favorite part was Adam, and it, it he says it very quickly. He's like, "Maybe we should make one side of the Venn diagram chewy and make it a little bigger because he's been here longer. <laughs> <laughs> it can represent time." <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the founders are there. Um, Jack and Matt, and then Jack is a driving instructor, and he's like, "Oh, I need to get a couple beers in <laughs> before driving." In. Um, and then Matt, we don't actually know what Matt does, but he uh, he he's working on being a founder. Mm-hmm. So it's exclusively, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I um, like that. Yeah, but I like uh, so uh, they they give that idea up to the to the driver for the tour, and she's not. She's like, no, we're not going over there. And then they they bait her and saying like, oh, you can be a founder and you can drink for free. Um, and then I think it ultimately just ends up. She's like, they're like, well, I'm not doing it. And they're like, well, how about you just do like a 20 minute stopover and everybody gets a drink for free. And then you know they're thinking like, oh, well, that's the exposure. They'll like it and then they'll come back. Um, so that's what they settle on before they do the whole hierarchy diagram thing. But um. Yeah, the rest of the episode is just them trying to like dress up the place, get it ready for this whole thing. So, yeah. It's funny how much cleaning they do in it, and they have like no customers. <laughs> it's seriously, it's aside from like the main cast, it's like there's you don't see anybody else other than when the, the yeah. bus finally gets there. But, um, yeah, and then there's like this whole extra thing where her it's name. like Jordan, Jordan, which one? Jordan. The, the bus driver? Who are you talking about? <clears throat> but, uh... Oh, oh my god. You're still there? Sorry. Um, I'm just making notes when it lags a little bit so I can fix it. Okay. Um, but, uh... So, yeah, yeah, the bus driver, Jordan, Jordan... They finally convince her, like Sam said, 20 minutes, and she's the founder and gets a drink for free. <laughs> <laughs> I would do a lot. I would do almost anything for free beer for life. Um, but uh, we are also introduced to. <laughs> a, I think it's really funny. A high end erotic dispensary called oh, Carnal. <laughs> yeah. So so like the de- the deal with that is they're they're trying to because there's not like the parking situation for uh, for Robbins is not that great. So they're trying to look for a place where they, you know, they could squeeze in room for like this big bus that's supposed to be coming through. So they're right next door to like David said, there's like this what is it? It's like it's a basically like a sex shop. Erotic dis- dispensary is what they call it, but it's a porno store. It's a, it's a sex shop, but they're like neighbors and they have they have like you know, extra parking available, but they'd have to like work something out so that they could use it. So they come over there and, uh, you know, they try and, uh, make some arrangements, but <laughs> I don't know. That Doesn't was probably really my favorite. Yeah. That was probably one of my favorite little bits about that episode too, where, uh, yeah, like it's just random <laughs> and mm-hmm. they, they make it work because they're like, oh yeah, we're like, we're off the beaten path. We're in Van Nuys. No one comes to Van Nuys. So famous people basically come to this sex shop to get, you know, butt plugs and dildos and whatever they mm-hmm. want. And they won't be shown on TMZ. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, I like how, how Will and Sarah are just, like, throwing out. <laughs> yeah. But I like how Will and Sarah are, like, throwing out celebs that may or may not shop there. They're like, <laughs> oh. What did they say? They said like Jodie Foster or like Jodie. Fo- <laughs> like, Moore. like we, we're not at liberty to discuss. And Julianne Moore. Yeah, yeah. Why did I say Jodie? Fo- oh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking uh, Hannibal. Sounds of the Lambs. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's right. They both were in those. She um, said Julianne. Moore. Yeah, they they dropped that and they're like, 
Yeah, they, they drop that and they're like, oh yeah, we can't say it. Then they walk away, they're like, oh, she's going to be so pissed. <laughs> we have to clean everything. <laughs> We're going to have to clean everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a good scene. It was uh-huh. smart, funny, and not like over the top because those kind of places really do exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, and then, uh, you know, so yeah, they don't actually get the parking spaces though. But um, then, who forget who says it? But then, hey, why don't we just get Becky and Elvis to move their food truck somewhere else so we can park there? <laughs> and, and then immediately, Adam <laughs> volunteers himself because he's like, "I'm still trying to hook up with Becky." Yeah, <laughs> Let's, I'll I'll talk to him, and he makes this, his way this over is, there. This is a ran. This is so random. Like <laughs> Becky's there, and he's talking to Becky, and then. He's like, hey, can you move your bus? And to me, it was like Becky's just not paying attention to him, like totally just like doesn't even care. Um, <laughs> but it turns out <laughs> Elvis comes out underneath her because he was eating her out. <laughs> that's that's good. <laughs> He's like, babe, is everything okay? Your aura feels so distracted. She's like, it is. It is distracted. <laughs> and then Becky's like, yeah, Andrew here is talking to me about moving – the food truck, and then Elvis is like, "Oh, Adam." <laughs> well, well, for one, she couldn't remember his yeah. name. He had to remind her, but Elvis remembers. And was like, "Oh, Adam. that's cool. He knows Adam. my name, Adam." <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they end up getting the parking spot, so that's all sorted out. Um, <laughs> Adam was against this whole thing, but then Will actually was able to convince him only. On the grounds that Adam can teach the people about <laughs> beer, um, uh, which Adam is yeah. a cicerone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cicerone. cicerone. What, what was he saying? Cicerone. Yeah, a cicerone. That's he's being a, very. It's like a master. Um, he's a master level, which is crazy <sighs> um, to think because there's, I think. Um, I had notes about this, but I don't remember. I think it's 16 or 19 master cicerones in the world. I don't even I don't even know what that means. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but so there's yeah. there's anyway. not a lot of them. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so Adam is, then Sarah goes finds Adam in the fridge and he's prepping for his beer class <laughs> and he calls it the end of ignorance. Part one, your oh. mouth is a sewer. <laughs> and and as one would expect, it's a total nightmare. Just them watching him practice to teach this class. It, he's it just, was he's, pretty rough, yeah. He's he's making all the wrong calls. He's like ejecting imaginary <laughs> people from from the class, and he's they're like spelling like, people. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, okay, this can't happen. We're gonna have to figure something out to make this not happen when people are actually here. Yeah. So, um, but Will then uh, fixes it by saying, "Hey, maybe you should just talk about uh, taste and blindfold and give everyone earplugs." And I was like, mm-hmm. "I don't know if you use your hearing to taste beer, <laughs> maybe to hear it poured, mm-hmm. but that's still crazy. But it's a good idea to blindfold that way you don't know what kind of beer you're drinking." And then Will's like, or Adam's like, "Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> you're a genius." Um. But that's only to get him to like go away. Yeah, <laughs> not, just and not ruin the bus tour. Which then, in the next shot, arrives, which uh, everyone's like having a really good time. Will's really good with people and crowds, and he he has a general um, passion for craft beer and just people bring bringing people together. Yeah, which um, which definitely comes through. It's just he's not yeah. a businessman. <laughs> yeah, he, he he's very lackluster when it comes to that, uh-huh. and, and it shows. And and it's kind of unfortunate because he the passion's there. It's just he doesn't know, or I guess doesn't want to learn, or doesn't care to learn about the business side and surviving, which is you know this craft beer endeavor. <laughs> <clears throat> and then, uh, so uh, yeah, yeah, they get. The tour comes through, everyone's having a great time, and then uh, drivers reminding them, it's like, oh, 20 minutes, nearly up, and then uh, as they're, like, getting ready to go, she comes back in, goes like, hey, my bus is missing, 
<laughs> which is which is pretty good. And yeah, uh, yeah. and then uh, so it turns out that Will and Sarah had left uh, Chewie to, to like kind of like keep an eye on it, but it got what was it? It was towed by the by the sex shop next door. So what happened was Chewie was supposed to guard that spot where the kids menu food truck is supposed to be. And he <laughs> fell asleep in a lawn chair. Not a lawn chair, a rolling chair, like a desk chair. Ugh. Um, because he was drunk. So a semi truck slowly pushed him out of the way in the rolling chair to take the spot up. <laughs> um so I mean they had to park somewhere else then. Yeah, Jordan then parked up the street in the VIP parking for Carnal and then Carnal ladies towed it. <clears throat> Which uh you know, Will Will kind of spins into that, um, or actually, no, it's Sarah. She's like, you know what? Go uh, give give uh, give the towers a call, and then uh, you know we'll we'll pay for you to get your your uh, your bus back. But in the meantime, they have the tour is still uh, at the brewery, so they're like, oh, we'll take advantage of that to like, you know, really hook these people in. So you know, we'll get yeah. good business out of this. Start pouring beers, but then as they walk back in, they hear Adam giving his class. Oh, it it yeah, it's it. Adam's very condescending. <laughs> it's it's exactly what you'd expect if if you've been watching the show. He's just he basically makes no one drink beer and and he's being he tells a, people that they don't know anything and he's being an ass. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, kind of what teachers are supposed to do. <laughs> But then, as Ad- Adam forgets some of his notes and walks to the back, Will comes up with this game. Um, he's like, every time Adam is condescending or shits on another beer, everyone drinks. When he brags about being a Cicerone, drink two sips. And then yell Cicerone in an Italian accent back. Um, <laughs> and then when he shits on Will, drink your whole beer. So, yeah. <laughs> and it's like immediate. It's like t- five seconds into it. <laughs> everyone's drinking and then he starts being condescending and they start shitting on beer and then he starts shitting on will and then he's <clears throat> they yell back sisterone <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets hung up and he's like it's like no that's not how you say it and then uh that's yeah you know they just make he a did, game out of it and tear him yeah. apart he then like walks he's like i'm turning the taps off and then uh, will asks for the staple gun from chewy and then Chewie ends up throwing a hammer and hitting Adam in the head, wow. <laughs> knocking him out. But Will staples him <laughs> to a wall, and everyone else has a great time. That was that was pretty much episode three, basically. Yeah. Um, um, so what? It was you- a good episode. I thought it was funny. I liked Angel City Brewing being there. It's a bigger spot. Mm-hmm. Um, not a big fan of the montage kind of brat or frat feel, but I like that they showed a brewery. Mm-hmm. Um, and that seems to be the case with this show that they talk, they're talking about the culture and the spot and the scenes like apps, like the untapped, the breweries, um, there, and they give a lot of craft beer lingo, um, which is cool. I like it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um Well, I mean, I thought I thought I think this was probably uh I definitely like this episode more. This is probably my favorite episode to this point. But um Yeah, no. Like you're get you're definitely a little more familiar with the characters and then like, you know, you like like all the dyna- the dynamics are in place and you're just you kind of like, you know, there's not so much setup going on anymore. It's just like you're in the thick of it. So yeah, I, I, I yeah, kind of like everything that. settled in. Everyone's you know everyone. You kind of know how they're yeah. acting, and um, you get the ball rolling with. At, for some reason, in most shows, I feel like there's a giant storyline, but this one is really just kind of like a common business. We need business. Yeah, there's a, it's definitely not. It, I mean, like I mean to this point, like there's definitely no like over overarching plot connecting everything so far. It's just kind of like. It's just kind of slice of life. Slice of yeah, definitely slice of life. It's just like every episode is like its own little contained thing. It's just um, yeah, I don't know. That's 
it's kind of cool. This is definitely like like so far. This definitely feels like something you could just kind of like have on, and like you don't necessarily have to like pay really close attention to, but you could kind of like just like you know come in and out at parts and like totally get it. So yeah, because there's no bigger story, mm-hmm. which which is cool. It's it's slapstick. It's funny. It's um. Slice of Life about a brewery, a very niche topic, but they, I think they did a good job with with episode three. They get they get the ball rolling without having, like Sam said, there's no setup, it, it, no more setup. It's just a lot of information. It's, it's very information in the first two yeah. episodes. Like that's just setting up the premise of the show, and whereas this one, it feels more like contained at this point, where it's like everything that you need to know about the episode is all inside the episode. It's like you don't have to have any like. You don't have to carry over anything from other stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. Which is good. So, episode number four. Four. And it's called Monk Monday, directed by Jeff Schaefer, written by Greg Schaefer, created by Greg Schaefer. Um, Netflix summary, Adam's newest beer masterpiece is too expensive to brew, but a group of visiting monks from Wilhelm's past could offer the solution he needs. I feel like that summary does no justice for this episode. This episode is crazy. Yeah, this is pretty, this one's pretty balls to the wall. I don't, I don't, at times it feels like, like there's too much going on. I don't know. It's like, not that it's like a lot to to like really track or like keep track of. It's just like. It's just, it's everywhere. It's all over the place. This episode, so yeah, it's <clears throat> everywhere. It's too, it's a lot, but it it it's still funny. It's got its yeah. moments, but like Sam said, it's it's all over the place. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> at, it starts off with Adam introducing his new truffle infused beer. <laughs> um, Will calls them mushrooms, but Chewy <laughs> chimes in and says that Adam told them that they are both fungi, but mushrooms grow above the ground, and truffles are subterranean, which makes them smell more like ass. <laughs> and of course, he would know a goofy-ass fact like that. Or if you could even consider that a fact. Yeah. Um, he Everyone tries it and loves the beer. Mm-hmm. Um, I would be... St- so excited to try truffle infused beer um mainly because i feel like truffles are never good by themselves Mm -hmm. they you know you put them on some pasta with cheese Mm -hmm. i feel like that's really good um or truffle oil but Mm -hmm. i would be really excited to try a beer like that um adam says the beer costs way too much to make and it's a hundred dollars for a howler which (laughs) is a 32 ounce (laughs) Um, growler so it's a mini growler about yay big Mm -hmm. um but that's about what three bucks three something uh an ounce that is it is way too (laughs) much for what you get and it's uh so you know (laughs) they're just like like we can't there's no way we could do that (laughs) yeah (laughs) adam adam was or will was like that's way too much for for a growl, uh, a growler, and then he <laughs> points like, out, no way that <laughs> that would be way more." <laughs> yeah, he's like, "That's at least like what did he say? Like it was like over a grand or something, or it was some you know yeah. something something ridiculous for that <laughs> amount." Yeah, I would love to try the beer again. There are beers that exist in the world that are very expensive, like thirteen hundred dollar bottles, fifteen hundred dollar bottles of beer. Um, just because they are very old or have been made ridiculously. But yeah, um, that's crazy. But then Will kind of says he he brings up, um, he knows a monk from his past that sells truffles for cheap, and they call him Truffles. Um, <laughs> and this is one of the monks from the monastery that he learned how to brew beer in, I believe it's Belgium, Europe. Um, and he, Adam was like, oh my god, call them, bring the monks here, they can bless the brewery, um, <laughs> they can give me my truffles, and I can make this beer, this excellent beer for cheap. <laughs> and Will's like, oh, that's a little too much to ask for, they've already done so much for me. Yeah, which is, you know, like, uh, then they end up, you know, trying to bring him in, which ends up being like the whole, like, you know, 
the thing that propels this episode into what it <laughs> into what it is. It's yeah. just getting these monks um, on board to do all this stuff for him. So <clears throat> Adam is able to contact the monks and convinces them to come to the brewery. Um, they were already actually planning to be in America. Um, they are visiting, and this is a cool little uh, side note: Saint Joseph Abbey. I think it's in uh, Massachusetts. Um, it's the only Trappist brewery in America outside of Europe. And I looked this up. This is a hundred percent true. And if if you don't know what a Trappist brewery is, it's basically a brewery where monks make beer. Um, but if you think about it, monks aren't about making or getting rich off beer. They make beer to support the abbey uh, and the you know their their homes. So they don't they don't really make a lot of it. And there's actually quick side note. Um, I forget who it was, but I think it was Rate My Beer did a list of the top ten greatest beers of all time. And this guy, I think it was the president, named an abbey in Belgium. Um, that this beer was the greatest beer, and then everyone was like, "Oh, I need to go try it." So, peep, hundreds and thousands of people were trying to get this beer. The monks at this brewery were like, "Hey, can you take us off the list? We're getting too much people coming to our monastery asking for the beer, and we don't want to. We don't want all that." fame or anything we just do it to support the monastery and our and and we make enough to live enough <laughs> but any beer from any of these top trappist breweries you you can be paying probably 60 70 dollars a bottle mm-hmm. well, i mean like you know it's like you're like you said they probably they just they just make enough to uh you know sustain what they got going on so it's like quantity is not very much yeah also they've been doing this for hundreds of years <laughs> so so you know there's so they a lot have of the process down <laughs> there's a lot of notoriety and like buzz yeah. about that stuff i'm sure i think it's the yeast of these old places <laughs> so they go they have Anyways. very old processes to do it <laughs> yeah um we then learned that actually Friar Lucas came from the monks. <laughs> that Friar Lucas gets to see his family again. So, you know, the resident dog for the brewery. The alcoholic dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Will comes up with some weird names to, like, go with the monks coming in on. But Sarah's like, why don't we just call it Monk Monday? <laughs> oh, it, yeah, because they're, de- they're deciding to make an event to, like, try and attract more business with the monks coming through. So... What 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 were some of the names he went through? Like some goofy like was it, it like it, they're they're German or some other language? But he says some weird monk Faisen something Monday. It's weird. <laughs> anyway, something that would not be very easy on the ears if you yeah. were just a layman. Um, but yeah. So then they they arrange to get him to come out, bless the brewery, get some business going, a whole thing. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and they make the uh, they're like working on the the brewery looking like an abbey. Um, Sarah takes Friar Lucas to a dog spa day at s- literally some lady's house, <laughs> not not like a place of business, but some 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 lady's house. Um, she gets the robes, and then she accidentally sees Adam naked, who is actually living like in between like the brewery like inside the brewery not in will's bed anymore yeah because because <laughs> he didn't kick him out but he was like oh i'm i'm trying to i'm i'm moving out but still nearby but he it, that was a lie it, yeah so i think i was very confused about this because at the beginning he says adam moving uh-huh. out and he's like oh i'm gonna stay very close and i was like okay cool he's moving he's like down the street or something but then he made that very expensive Mush the truffle beer, and he's like, "Oh well, we don't have money to pay you, Adam." So he has no money. But then Will was like, "No, you're not sleeping here anymore," and pushes him out, and that's why he's like sleeping with a hammock from <laughs> from giant tub mash to tongue ash. Uh huh. But yeah, then uh, <laughs> my favorite part was like Sarah's like, "Dicks aren't supposed to bend that way." <laughs> And what did he say? He's like, you're not a fan of the. What did he say? You're not a fan of the candy cane or something. Yeah, he's like, you don't like the candy cane. Uh, he's like, oh, I miss Portland. That was so <laughs> terrible. Ugh, that was so funny. Yeah. 
<laughs> and the best part, Adam was like not trying to cover up. <laughs> He's like, you don't brew good beer, so your opinion doesn't matter. He's got, dude's got no shame. <laughs> Yeah, which is hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Um, we then go to Will freaking out because the monks actually haven't been in contact since they were supposed to land. Yeah, so, yeah, they, they technically touched down already, but they just haven't been able to reach them. And Will, like, freaks out, oh, maybe they're not coming. Uh-huh. And Will, for some reason, Will's, like, really, I feel like he's against them coming. You think so? Be- a little bit. Maybe he's nervous about it because he wants his brewery to look good um, and the beer to taste great. Yeah, but he feels like he's trying to self-sabotage himself. I don't know. I, I That's not the impression I got. I thought he was just like, he just wanted it to be like like the most presentable thing when they came in. He's like, oh, this is this has been like my life's work. And like, I really want you guys to like what I'm doing. He's like, because, you know, I've got ties to you guys. And like, that was like... A lot of a lot of what this is is from you guys. So, <laughs> I, I can see that. I just he's act so nervous when he, the monks are mentioned. Yeah. He's kind and of he a was like a, he was a, against even asking truffles to bring truffles, mm-hmm. which is like I mean, if I had a buddy, hey, can you help me out with something? I would I would definitely straight up ask because they're buddies. Mm-hmm. Like if I asked Sam to suck my dick, he would do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. He's done, he's done it. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you know, closing closing in on like the Monday when all this stuff's supposed to happen, and Will's kind of having like a little bit of a freak out because he's like, "Oh, I don't, they're, maybe they're not coming." So then Sarah comes up with, "He's like, well, we'll tell you what. How about we keep keep the Monk Monday going, and I'll just bring in some actors because you know we're in <laughs> we're in Van Nuys. This is L.A. They're like they're all yeah. over the place. We could definitely everyone's get it. an actor. <laughs> yeah." And then she's like, I had a question about this, but she's like, she's like, yeah, I've got like a bunch of robes laying around. I'll just dress them up. And I, I was like, well, why does she have robes? I'm like, what's going on? Like, well, they were going to dress up, but she did have extra robes. Yeah. That's what I was like. I was like enough for like a troop of actors to come through. I was like, why do you have, why do you just have robes? Like excess robes laying around. Cause she's a meth addict. I was like, <laughs> I was like, it's not like it's not like they're like bathrobes, which would also yeah. be weird. But also, Chewie's like all excited about the robes too. He's like, I can't wait to wear those sweet robes. Yeah, and then we find out he had a very specific. Late, yeah, later. <laughs> um, so then uh, Sarah goes uh, to pick up Friar Lucas. Um, the pub looks great, really. Like the corner, they put all these rugs up. It looks really old and looks like an abbey. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a giant lion outside the brewery, which is awesome. Um, we find out Chewie likes the robe because he doesn't get to wear any underwear. He, underneath, he says. And he's butt naked. Yeah. A lot of, I don't know. Sarah's seen a lot of stuff in this episode. Just like, not, she didn't ask to. And I'm like. I'm surprised Sarah hasn't filed a lawsuit or actually killed someone at this <laughs> brewery. It uh-huh. still works there. Because they give her a lot of shit, and yeah. Um, then, as as they're like talking amongst themselves, some uh, guys in robes come in. Chewie's like, "Oh, look! All the customers are wearing robes." And then, uh, actually, is the real monks that will um, learn how to brew beer with. Um, and they purposely didn't say anything to Will about them arriving because they wanted to make him nervous. As so a, they were pulling the prank on. Yeah. Him. What a what a, man. David, if you fucking did something like that to me, and like I was counting on you, I'd be like, "Ooh, man, I'd have some, I'd have some feelings." <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I would do it for something this important. Yeah, that, that's what I for mean. Something, for something small, I would totally. Yeah, do Yeah, I would get for something small, but if it was like, like a light, well, I mean, I don't know if about like you know just having like a night themed around a thing would be like a life-changing kind of event if you owned a brewery yes it would be Uh and i wouldn't i wouldn't fuck around with that Uh uh-huh because i'd be in the founder circle (laughs) yeah or you would just be in the brewery Uh, yeah yeah. (laughs) but that it's kind of fucked up (laughs) yeah that's 
goofy. Goofy. Adam shows up and he pushes everyone aside and he's like, it, he's so nice to the monks. <laughs> Which is really out of, it, it yeah. just seems like not, like it seems out of character almost. And I think Sarah's like, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, he's like, he's just like trying to be real accommodating. He's just like, oh, he's like, we take our craft very seriously here and we just hope that you really like all of our stuff. And then we are introduced to truffles, and he gives Adam a truffle, and he's like, when can I get the rest of my order? He's like, when the truffle, it's like, when you are ready, the truffle will well, reveal itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something stupid. Like some just, just yeah. dumb fortune cookie type, <laughs> type talking Dude, right here. Side note, fortune cookies suck now. <laughs> like, they're not fortunes. They're just things people say. I've never, so, okay. This is this is definitely kind of off track for this episode, but yeah, I've never fortune cookies. I've never, I've never gotten a fortune cookie like ever that was like a legit fortune. It's always like some weird descriptive. It's like, oh, you are such and such and such and such. It's always like, I don't know, non fortunes. And I'm like, oh, okay, well that's cool. This weird fact that you think you know about me, you cookie. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had fortunes where it's like, hey, keep doing that thing you're doing it will pay off like that's a fortune keep persevering but (laughs) then i've like have never in the last like five six seven years i haven't gotten that and they're all like the river runs up and down like okay that is a fact that you said that is not a fact i don't know mine mine is always like oh your friends like you and you are (laughs) and your friends like you and and you and you're having a great week and i'm like what i'm like what kind, that's what kind of bullshit is this it's like you just yeah. <laughs> this isn't a anyways. fortune yeah <laughs> anyways um so adam is talking with the monks um asking about um all this brewery questions because adam has his little brewery bible with like a bunch of recipes <clears throat> mm-hmm. um <laughs> and then the main i guess the main fryer uh He's like, we can talk about crafting beer all on, but we should do is get fucked up. And then all the monks start partying like frat guys. Like, like they hardcore. are chugging beer. Like, Doing and then it. Will's like, oh yeah, I just like, I, I, I couldn't do it anymore. And then Adam just thought that because he couldn't give up sex, um, <laughs> like be celibate. But Will's like, no, I couldn't hang. No, he's like, he's like, your idea of of what the monastery was is very different from what it actually was. It's just like these dudes just party. Yeah, and then it's, it's hilarious. It, camera pans over, you see one doing like like the craziest keg, keg stand. stand. Yeah, on like, what tap. is going on? <laughs> oh my god! Ugh. You big, you boozy piggy. <laughs> Truffles is fucking out of this world. Um, Mm -hmm. Then we fast forward to Adam is in the back with the monks, and he's like, oh, the monks are only acting this way to impress Will because Will is the bad influence. Mm -hmm. And the monks ask uh, Adam if he wants to be initiated. So then two monks come behind him and put a fucking bag over his head and take him away. (laughs) Um, We then find out all through the episode, Friar Lucas is acting super weird. Um, ever since and Will like, and brought back, yeah. yeah, ever since coming back from with Sarah from the dig, dog spa, Will then realizes Friar Lucas is not Friar Lucas. It's a girl. It's the wrong dog. Yeah. So make Sarah go get the new, the real Friar Lucas. Um, then we go back to probably one of the most upsetting scenes I've ever seen. Yeah, I didn't. In, in this was this show. was like I could have done without that visual. Yeah, Adam is being beer boarded. Um, as as an initiate, <laughs> um, and they have this paddle um, for I'm, turning beer, but it's it's got a hole in it. So they have Adams on the ground laying down. All right, the the least pole. amount of time you could spend on this would, would be the best. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm just explaining it though. And this, you know, three four foot, you know, pole with a hole is right above his face, and on top is truffles with his <laughs> robe up and the someone is pouring beer down truffles ass into the pole onto adam's face it's it's almost like a reverse butt chug 
it's a butt through it's board it's, beer boarding it is so gross i was like i could i could have gone my whole life without seeing that i did like i'm like no one asked you to do that you didn't need to do that but you still did that i'm like it was really gross yeah um and they really oh it's called it's an oak paddle straw uh, and they and they really hold on it too they go back and forth between it, adam on the not ground a blur. it's to, not a blur it's a solid it's, it's like crisp 4k you see, shot you of you see everything with beer everything all together and then back and forth between his face and and truffle's ass it's just like i'm like i don't really want to see that yeah uh adam has an awakening <laughs> Yeah, like he has like that cosmic awareness, <laughs> yeah. like fall onto himself. He's like, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, Sarah goes gets goes back and gets uh, Friar Lucas. The lady is like so pissed, and like Friar Lucas is being such a fucking, you know, terrible dog. Mm-hmm. Drink drink all her wine. <laughs> um, Friar Lucas then like tries chasing after a dog or a cat. Mm-hmm dragging sarah and she goes and face first <laughs> into a cat and she's allergic yeah immediately she busts out in a rash <laughs> has has like a terrible reaction and she's just she's like oh i need an epi pen is there an epi pen <laughs> laying around <laughs> yeah. sarah. and the lady's like you need to go take your dog get out of here <laughs> yeah, and basically just here. gives her the boot <clears throat> Um, then we go back to the brewery. Uh, the monks are ready to bless the brewery, and <laughs> this it, this is why this episode like every time there's something happening, something else it just turns the table. The monk actors show up, and Sarah told these actors that if they break character, they will not get the role in a movie. So it's an audition. That, so they're like that was the bait to get them in. on being yeah. monks and having, and they're just doing a terrible job because one monk is like changing an accent every third or fourth word. Yeah, <laughs> like like one's doing Russian, the other one's going back and forth between like Irish and like. Some, yeah. some other weird Scott thing. It. It's yeah. just it's all over the place. Um, yeah. Will tries to get him to leave, but they're like, no, like we got to stick to our roles because we get the part. Uh-huh. It's part of the audition. Um, and then the orig- the real monks are getting pissed because they're like, you cannot bless this brewery. Um, they all throw their hoods up, which was super weird. And then the main f- friar yells monk attack, and it's a fucking giant scene of all these monks fighting each other and all the people that were having a good time are like leaving and running out. Yeah. It's just like a brawl broke out in the brewery. So, <laughs> and then, yeah, all the, all the patrons are rushing out the door. Um, they're trying to like, like, you know, they're like, Oh, don't run away. But then, um, and then Sarah comes back to the door looking all just, what, what, did, what was, uh, she, what were she they saying? Having a, they're like, Oh, hey, was- Quasimodo, all that stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. Cause she's like, being dragged by Friar Lucas, so she's like half yeah. bent down, and she has like her and backpack just, her under face her is, mangled. robe. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and the bouncer that they have is like, "No, you're way too drunk." And then she like fucking grabs his wrist, turns him around against the wall, kicks his knee in, and he slams his head against the wall and passes <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, and then so basically, she just she just rushes in with Friar Lucas and just kind of saves the day. <laughs> she, yeah, she like. Well, before that, Adam is about to get punched. Then right. Will comes and saves him. <laughs> and as Will like goes to punch this guy, he like cocks back it's, and hits it's just, Adam in the nose. The way the way they're standing, it's just he's perfectly situated behind him. Where if he's like cocking his arm, he's just like just you know. Which, but I'm like, you would think like because like he turns around, sees Adam on the floor, and he's like, "Who hit my brother?" But I'm like, yeah. you didn't you didn't feel contact yeah. from your elbow. I was just like, how would you not notice you hit somebody? I I mean, I mean, I can, I can say he was probably drunk. I mean, like I've been, I've been drunk in the past. I've been, like and you know, you I would people. still feel. <laughs> and you beat up people. I haven't, I haven't beat up people. I don't do that, David. I'm nice. He, he's a liar. nice man with happy nice, feelings. Ni- nice men. <laughs> nice friend. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, I don't know. I, th- I thought that was kind of funny. He's like, how would you not know? What, whatever. Yeah. Um. Um. So yeah, then Sarah saves the day, grabs Will, and then <laughs> spins him around, and like knocks off, like knocks people out <laughs> with his feet. Um, 
as she's carrying and like doing a fireman carry and spinning them around. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she's like freaking out, screaming, and she looks crazy because she's all rashed out. Um, <laughs> Truffles comes out of nowhere. It's like I will, I will defeat you, mutant. <laughs> And but Sarah like puts him in a lock, <laughs> like a full okay. Nelson or something, yeah. right? And then um, as she puts him in a lock. Truffles poops Ugh. out the remaining truffles, mm-hmm. so he had put the truffles up his asshole to get through customs. Also upsetting. I don't know if it was as <laughs> upsetting as the as the <laughs> the butt boarding, but. <laughs> It's just, At least it didn't show the truffles coming out like of a, his butt. There's yeah, there's definitely like a visual element to this show where it's just like I'm like it's kind of like they rely on like gross out humor of it, which I mean like I don't think I'm a crazy fan for, but <laughs> it 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 um you get some sort of reaction out of you, so I guess it's working. And after he poops him out, uh, he says the brewery is blessed, <laughs> oh, and that's man. the end of the episode. Yeah, that was that was it. Oh, uh, crazy episode, real wild, a little over the top to me because it's. Um, I feel like the importance of having Trappist uh, Brewery on as a main thing could have gone a different way, where it was respectful. Mm-hmm. Um, that being said, I don't know. Maybe monks do really get drunk, but I know for a fact that there is in in learning. Trappist Brewery has made like three kinds of beer. Um, one for them, which was like two or three percent beer, mm-hmm. so they weren't getting really drunk off of it. One for poor people, and one for rich people, which was stronger, um, tastier beer. And the poor people had strong, not so tasty beer. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so that was that was episode four. Uh, yeah, we're definitely making, we're like, what, at the halfway point now for this halfway series? Point. So it's only eight episodes. It's not, it's not your 10 episode normal. Uh, shorter, shorter um, run for this series. Yeah, it's two episodes shorter than I, I, I actually, I think 10 episodes is perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, cause I, that, that's enough to get a lot of information out. You know, it doesn't have to be old school, like 25 episodes. <laughs> um, it, I think it depends on the show. Like, uh, like I'm a fan of, I, I definitely like the eight episode format, but like, you know, these episodes, they're, they're shorter. They're only like half they're, hour. They're not an hour. Yeah. yeah. They're not an hour. So, they're not even 45 minutes. Yeah, they're, so they're, I, they're half an hour. I feel like, uh, with this kind of show, I would definitely say like if they had, if they had gone with maybe like a few more episodes, like, I think that would have, well, I mean, not that we're finished with this yet, and yeah. I haven't seen anything I, I, else. Just even right now, I feel like there's so much they can do with two more episodes. Yeah, like I would, yeah, stretch out, stretch out the length to like maybe like an additional two, maybe even four episodes. But like, yeah, like I am a fan of like the eight episode format, but it's like I like I think that suits like the longer episodes or the episode length. Yeah, if they were an hour, yeah. I'd be fine with that. But um, just because one, like the founders aren't that featured. I would like to see more of them. All their side characters are have their own like niche about them, but I wish they were mentioned more mm-hmm. or featured more. Like Becky and Elvis, and then the Cardinal ladies are fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I was, I, I, I thought they were a nice <laughs> nice addition. I was like, yeah, I would definitely want to yeah. see more of them. They were funny, um, and they're they're anti the establishment, but. You know, they're just like I'm assuming. You know, rich white Republican women, <laughs> but they're not like they're not like trying to get them kicked out. They're just like we don't like you. Yeah, we don't like you. We're not. We're yeah. not beer people. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so far it's been it's been pretty solid. So, Bruce Brothers, interesting, yeah. and then. If that's all that I have to say, next week we'll do episode five and six. So thank you for watching and listening. Uh, two more, two more in the bucket, uh, and two more to go. So, yeah, keep drinking, keep listening. <laughs>